Welcome again right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 23 to 33. Eat everything? Paul writes, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful for me, but not all things build up. Uh, this is the problem with so many Christians I come across anymore. They take one little bite. They take one little sound bite out of what Paul writes, and they make a whole theology of it. I mean, they don't take it in context. You know, Paul, in most of his letters, really condemns sin. And, you know, he brings down the law. He says, if you do this, 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 and this, and the other, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hint, hint, that's not heaven, okay? You're not going to heaven. And Paul brought down the law many, many times. And he was even bold enough in his letter to the Philippians to say that he obeys God's law blamelessly. But so many Christians, for no other reason and by no other motivation than to justify their secret sins, quote Paul, just take little bites of Paul about, you know, we don't go by the law or just crazy things like that. And they don't read the whole thing. They don't even take the full letters of Paul in context, let alone the entire Bible in context. You know, the word of God is eternal. It is eternal. As it says in Psalm 119, it is forever settled in heaven. Right from the beginning, right to the end, every word of God is forever. It's not temporary. God never needs to be upgraded. God never needs to change, and neither does his word. So you have to take everything with a grain of salt here. You have to take everything in context here. Paul said just a few chapters ago, if you do all kinds of things, he listed a whole list of things. He said, if you do any of these, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, he said, if you do any of these, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. No heaven for you if you do those things. That's a law, okay? That's law. If you haven't listened to it, I encourage you to go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and listen to that. So right here, Paul says, all things are lawful for me. Does he actually mean all things are lawful? Does he actually mean if he wants to, you know, kill Christians again, that that's lawful for him? Obviously not, okay? So you got to take it in context. When Paul said, all things are lawful for me, he doesn't mean all things are lawful for me. All things are lawful, he says, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own. In other words, don't be selfish. Don't seek your own good, but each one his neighbor's good. Whatever is sold in the butcher shop, and by the way, this particular verse and this particular word is very inaccurately translated, very poor translation. What it says in the original manuscripts is that what you buy in the marketplace. In other words, today you would say what you buy in the store. Whatever is sold in the butcher shop, or like I said, means basically marketplace or store, eat. Asking no question for the sake of conscience. And I have to kind of smirk within myself whenever I read this verse because you see I have a little meme. And it has a picture of, well... I'm sorry if any one of you are eating right now, but it has a picture of a pile of fecal matter and it's got flies around it. And it quotes this verse. It says, whatever is set before you, eat without asking any questions. Just eat whatever's put before you. Verse 26, for the earth is the Lord's and its fullness. But if one of those who don't believe invites you to a meal and you are inclined to go, eat whatever is set before you asking no questions for the sake of conscience. But if anyone says to you, this was offered to idols, don't eat it for the sake of the one who told you and for the sake of conscience. For the earth is the Lord's with all of its fullness. Conscience, I say, not your own, but the other's conscience. For why is my liberty judged by another conscience? If I partake with thankfulness, why am I denounced for something I give thanks for? Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Is Paul meaning here, you know, you can just go around with a gun in your hands and just shoot people? Whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. You know, obviously, again, you have to take this into context. You know, Paul says, you know, all things are lawful for me. Does that mean we're supposed to go around and say, everything is lawful. Everything I want to do. Like go around with an AK-47 and just wipe people out. Everything's lawful for me. It's lawful. I can do it, you know, as long as I give glory to God. Listen, no way, okay? In the same way when Paul talks about diet when he talks about eating okay you don't take it out of context 
You don't disobey God. You don't eat things sacrificed to idols. We dealt with this back in 1 Corinthians chapter 8. If you haven't listened to that chapter, please go back and listen to that chapter. We compare what Paul says about eating things sacrificed to idols to what Jesus says about eating things sacrificed to idols. I mean, Paul here, obviously, again, he says, no, oh, you know, you can eat whatever you want. You have liberty to eat whatever you want. If it's sacrificed to idols, go ahead and eat it. But just if you're in the presence of someone whose conscience might be defiled by that, then don't eat it. But, you know, not for your conscience because, you know, you can do it. It's no problem with God to eat things sacrificed to idols. Just do it for the other person's conscience, you know. And that's basically what Paul's saying here. Revelation chapter 2, Jesus condemns his people for eating things sacrificed to idols. Again, go back and listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 8 if you haven't done so already. Give no occasion for stumbling, Paul says, whether to Jews or to Greeks or to the assembly, the church of God, even as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of the many that they may be saved. Again here, we got to take it in context because, you know, Paul makes it sound like, oh, I just please everybody. I just please. We know he wasn't like that, okay? He offended a lot of people to the point of being beaten and judged over and over and over again. He's the one that stood up and said, I'm obeying God, not you guys, okay? And he was very, very persecuted for it. Indeed, later on in life, he was actually killed for it. So again, you gotta take everything into context. And as always, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.